Hello, hello. Today I wanted to introduce you to the new member of our family, Bailey. <laughs> Yay. She's our new puppy. So why did we get a puppy? That's a good question. Um, I'm obsessed with dogs, uh, especially um, shelter dogs. Ooh, she wants more treats. Okay, but you gotta show me a trick. Come here. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Good girl. So I'm obsessed with dogs. I'm obsessed with uh, dog shelters, local dog shelters. And I follow them on social media and I share adoptable dogs all the time. And in my mind, I really wanted for a long time a dog that was like two to five years old that already knew a couple commands. Um, Cause I know how hard it is to take care of a puppy. Taking care of a puppy is really hard. Um, and I actually was gonna put like a two to five year old dog on my vision board, but my mom and my sister, they were obsessed with the idea of a baby. Like they just wanted a baby in the house. And so I adjusted my desires. I said, fine, I'm gonna add a couple puppies to my vision board and that vision came true incredibly quickly. <laughs> um, Jewish. Uh, my stepdad uh, found an ad of a family that um, had a litter that they weren't expecting uh, and they needed to find homes uh, for them right away because they weren't able to take care of them. Um, and um, oopie. There we go. She's going through her little puppy nippy phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No fingers. Toy. Toy. Good girl. Um, and so she came home with us. So this is Bailey. <laughs> yeah, you're so cute. So I'm the one that spends the most time at home and typically alone. Emmy uh, has too much anxiety to take on a lot of responsibilities. No biting. Uh, 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 uh. Nope. Toy. Good girl. Toy. Toy. Good girl. So since Emmy and I are home a lot, um, and it's typically just the two of us, and she's pretty anxious about helping out. A lot of the work ends up falling on me. So <laughs> it's hard having EDS and pots and also chasing a puppy around to make sure that they don't get into trouble or eat anything they're not supposed to. Um, chasing after her when she has accidents and bending over to clean them up, which is my equivalent of the tilt-a-whirl every time. Um, you know, managing her when she's going through this bitey phase and my skin is really sensitive and uh, I get <laughs> cut easily. So it's been tough. There's a lot of aspects to it. Also, like a baby, stop. She, <laughs> she spent the first couple of weeks uh, crying me awake every couple hours. So I ended up in this like delirious exhausted oh my god new mom face so she's a puppy and she's really high energy <laughs> uh which has completely exhausted me um so this is a, a warning to folks who are thinking about getting a puppy they are adorable but they're a bundle of energy they're gonna get a bitey face because they're teething um and you gotta chase them around, they're really fast, you, they wanna play, so be cautious of that. <laughs> it exhausted me, um, it flared up my pots, which makes me like faint and like uh, have chronic fatigue where I can't wake up. Um, it uh, triggered my myalgia pains, which is my muscle pains, and so my muscles all basically feel like lava <laughs> inside my body. Um, Toy. Toy. Good girl. Uh -uh. 
Not the clothes. Toy. Good girl. Okay. Yes, good girl. <laughs> um, but even though it's been hard work and it's triggered some of my symptoms, uh, literally made me sick. <laughs> um, it's worth it, I think, to create this bond right now. Um, and for me personally, it's not going to be the same for everyone. For me personally, I did actually have a goal to um, increase my limits um, and to push harder uh, and, and see what I'm really capable of. Not that I wasn't doing that before, but like really set the intention to like um, stretch out my limits, give myself a little more leash, so to speak, from my illnesses, because I have a really short leash. My standing limits are like a minute, um, and uh, before I get sick, and you know, I've been pushing my limits and getting sick. Um, but I don't know. I'd love to be able to like do some physical therapy and increase those limits. Maybe instead of one minute to five minutes, I could get 20 minutes back. I'm not thinking about a cure <laughs> for EDS or being absolutely better again, but at least I'd like to be able to take my dog on like a 20 minute walk. <laughs> uh, on legs and like run around with her. That'd be nice. <laughs> so I was saying, even though it's a lot of hard work, it is uh, important to me to build a good, trusting uh, foundation and bond with her. Um, and hopefully that'll make the training process easier. Toy. Good girl. You know what? Treat. Good girl. But since the day she's gotten home, she has been pretty impressive besides the current terrible twos, she's about two months old now, um, biting phase that she's going through. Come on, toy, toy. Um, but like the first day she came, she was ready to do sit. Uh, she was ready, um, and this is without, you know, um, ever being trained at all, but she, she got in sit right away, then she started immediately doing like sit and paw, and she got really excited about um, being able to show us that she can do that. She's also really communicative, she like, um, she, from the first day, without anyone teaching her this, her, she instinctively would alert us when she had to use the potty. Um, you can't have all of them, but I'll give you one of them. Good girl. That's for being calm and being a good girl. She's biting because she wants to play. That's the only way she knows how to play until we have to teach her that that's not how we play. You can bite this, but you cannot bite this. And so she would either nudge us, uh, like if we were holding her, she would nudge us on the shoulder or whine, mm, like put me down. She would typically push off of us or cry. Um, and we would set her down. She does her business right on the mat, most of the time. She does have her accident, she's a puppy, that's expected. Um, but that was really impressive to me, how communicative she is, how excited she is to learn, and excited to show us what she's learned. It's really, actually, amazing. She's also a fan of Disney music. It seems to really calm her down. Uh, she also has her own stuffed pet, Doug, that she likes to cuddle with, and she's such a cuddler. Oh my god. I love how much she loves to cuddle and to be touched. She loves to be held. She loves to like sleep with all of us. Mm mm mm. Toy, toy, good girl. So one question I've been asked is if she 
will be a service dog. Um, well, she's definitely not currently a service dog, um, but I think that that would be great. We'd, we'd have to see if she qualifies, if she's trainable as a service dog for my needs and maybe my sister's needs. Um, but that would be great <laughs> if I put in all this hard work <laughs> when she's a puppy and then when she's a grown dog um, that she'll be around to help me. And honestly, if she wants to be helpful, <laughs> we basically have kind of a spoony house. Most of us in the house have some disability and um, <laughs> if she wants to be helpful, there's plenty of opportunity to do so here. <laughs> All right, she's getting really, really antsy. I think <laughs> this is my cue to go. Yeah, I think she's done. Uh, <laughs> so I will see you eventually. <laughs> Bye.